Good morning, VChain family. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video. Guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you never miss a Boomin update. I get these updates daily and you don't want to miss them. I'm a hot tea and honey, lot loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. And we got some pretty big news out of the exchange ecosystem. No, Coinbase is not dead. I, uh,. I'm still a big believer in Coinbase, but looks like they are delisting some coins here, um, which comes at a surprise because these coins have been on Coinbase for a very, very long time. So Coinbase Wallet is delisting XRP, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum Classic. That, I mean, XRP, I can understand they stopped uh, deposits of that, I want to say about a year or two ago. But Bcash and ETC, that comes out of nowhere. So America's biggest crypto exchange has scrapped a number of assets from its self-custody mobile app, citing a waning customer interest. And they've delisted XRP, the seventh largest digital asset by market cap. I know the XRP army is not going to be happy at all they're up in arms they're they got their pitchforks out and i'm just gonna stay away from that <laughs> that mob there so i ain't got nothing bad to say about the xrp fanboys today y'all are down bad but it's okay keep fighting the good fight coinbase said oh not only that they're uh they're removing xrp b cash ETC, Ethereum Classic, and Stellar Lumens. That that was very uh very surprising as well. So Coinvest said the move was due to quote unquote low usage of the assets on the platform. Coinbase Wallet is a self-custody mobile app similar to other software wallets such as MetaMask. And you should not be keeping your crypto on Coinbase. Okay. Uh, today's announcement for Coinbase means that from next year, users will not be able to buy, sell, send, or receive assets via this app. Token users will still be able to access coins via its exchange, though. So, Coinbase added that despite it removing the assets, users will be able to recover them via their recovery phrases, of course. So, um, that's very surprising. Um, you know... Uh, Coinbase has been adding some weird tokens lately and, you know, for them to list this, the, you know, just came out of left field, but whatever, I'm still buying Coinbase stock, YOLO, let's go ahead and move on. VeChain Supply Chain, shout out to Sebastian on Twitter, go ahead and follow them. VeChain has been highlighted in the publication, The Veal of Transparency, Blockchain, Sustainability, and Governance in global supply chains v chain is all the way down here you can see here third party audit firms markets blockchain based system for monitoring raw materials through supply chains offer in partnership with a larger firm and some examples of that is circular with mercedes-benz oh boy mercedes-benz is uh going down the crapper and then we have v chain with h m sap with green token Let's take a look at this uh, abstract here. This article uh, interrogates the turn towards digital technologies for addressing sustainability challenges in global supply chains. Focusing on the use case of blockchains, we assess the industry claims that the set of distributed ledger technologies for undertaking, verifying, and publishing digital transactions provides greater transparency necessary to resolve sustainability challenges. Our central contention is that blockchain-based initiatives promote sustainability in global supply chains. Double down on modes of third party audit and disclosure governance that have thus far failed to address labor and environmental abuses. The turn towards these digital technologies we show extends an interlinked process of mar marginalization and the spread of audit culture in the governance of global supply chains. These tendencies heighten obstacles to achieving sustainability across global supply chains, exacerbating the very challenges blockchain initiatives are unostensibly meant to have addressed. Worse than not fundamentally addressing the sustainability problems, applications in this sub, in this sus tech, what the heck is that? Render failures to address <laughs> sustainability abuses 
more opaque. The technological novelty of blockchain helps construct what we call a veil of transparency over sustainability abuses and marginalities across the global supply chain. So they're, they're pretty much, I think what they're trying to say here is they're talking about greenwashing. There's a, a, a great video that I should probably show on the channel um, by a smaller YouTuber. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they would be I don't think they'd be too uh, angry about me showing it and giving them credit. I'll do that at a later date. But she breaks down what greenwashing is, and pretty much it's companies lying, <laughs> okay? That veil of transparency, the veil of sustainability, you know, people are just using block. They're, they're saying, oh, we've got a blockchain. No evidence, no data. No real, uh, no real use case. They just put a blockchain on there so we can say we're more transparent, but they're not actually transparent. Okay, and I think this is what they're trying to say here, and it makes it more complicated, more obfuscated, so that you really can't see what you really need to see. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and retweet this bad boy here. Go ahead and take a look at the article. Let's go ahead and move on. We got stoned.vet here, guys. This is awesome. Shout out to them. Um, they are creating a tip bot for VeChain. Now, this is pretty cool. Let's take a look. I've been spending my time building this tip.vet bot for the VFAM to use. I'll use this thread to explain how it works as well as provide a link to invite to your server. What is tip.vet? Tip.vet is a custodial wallet system that creates and attaches a fully functional VChain wallet to your Discord account. Why? Tip.vet enables functionalities like tipping your friends in real time playing games using real funds and functionalities like airdropping active community members in discord to reward them all of this is done without actively signing a transaction on your end how does it work first of all you will need a bot wallet to participate this could be achieved in two ways you can use the tip create wallet command to create a wallet if someone tips you but you don't have a wallet yet though the wallet the bot will create one for you the wallet is attached to your Discord ID and can only be used from there. The bot uses your private key to sign the transaction for you. Your private key is stored fully encrypted and can only be decrypted by you since the user ID is part of the decryption. All wallets are created ecosystem wide and not locked to a certain server, meaning you can always use the same wallet no matter what server you're on. So you can see here, he's been tipped some Vito, some Yeet, some VC. That's pretty cool. You can fund your tip wallet by sending your funds there, as well as withdraw the funds for your tip wallet uh, to your normal wallet by using a tip withdraw command. Using this will will the using this wallet will store all your crypto is not suggested, so don't store all your crypto on the Discord uh, tip bot wallet. All right, it's just a tip bot, so put a little bit of crypto in there. Transaction fees uh, for the tips are taken care of by a wallet, a delegation wallet, so no need to have Vito on there for the cause of funding a transaction. I don't take any fees or actions at all. It's 100% free to use. Dude's a better man than me. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm going to need a .001 fee. <laughs> but that's just me. Anyway, now finally. Here's a link to add the bot to your server. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and retweet this bad boy. Y'all go ahead and run it up. I can't stand Discord. It's too much for my um, my distracted brain. It's just too much going on, too much bloops, too many servers. I don't really like the interface, so I stopped using it. But you know, if you guys wanna go ahead and use it, I think it's awesome. I know Discord is important, especially for crypto, but it just, for my brain, it does not work. I don't know why I tried. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and move on.
And finally, guys, join the VJ Foundation and Crypto.com for AMA on December 6th at 7 a.m. UTC. You can ask your burning questions to VJ Foundation CEO Sunny Lou, and you can be a winner of some of the VET if your question is selected. So all you got to do is like or retweet and submit a question. What should my question be? Wind moon? I think that's a good question. <laughs> Wind moon. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and wrap things up here. 518 days left to the next Bitcoin block having. Let's take a look at the markets here. And Bitcoin went up a little bit yesterday. I think it hit 17K. So hopefully we're on the road to recovery, but crypto is a fickle beast and it could change at any moment. <laughs> okay. Who knows? Maybe by next month we could be at 60K again. You just never know with Bitcoin. Literally, you never know. Um, but we're up. Touch 17K last last night. So hopefully we clear that and get back to 20K. I think that would provide some confidence in the market. Um, there's a couple of coins that are up here. Let's take a look at some coins that are up right now. GMX is up. Phantom, Near, Zcash. Mm. And really too crazy going on. Any coins that are down? ApeCoin, Binary X. Eh. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. Keep chopping wood, and I'll talk to you soon with the Cardano updates. Thank you for tuning in and watching daily VeChain and Cardano videos on Satoshi Boomin channel. I want to say a wonderful shout out to our wonderful Patreons here: Maryland for Crypto, Anthony Andrews, Farouz Din, Kyle Bachi, Crypto SVT.SI, Angel Topia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson the Second, Kragen, All Flare LLC, Lucky Sunshine Token, and Catherine Braun. Guys, let's keep chopping wood. Don't let your means be dreams. And thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support.